People often ask, how do you deal with a book chapter? Because often you've got an edited volume and you want to be citing some particular part of the book, not the whole book as a whole. So here's how you do that. First, you create a record for the entire book in Zotero. I've already done that here. It's here's my book, Networks and Transcultural Exchange. It's the book that's described here in this Merlin record. I'm going to close Zotero for an instant so you can see it. And let's say that I want to be citing this, um, let's see, yeah, I think I'll cite the, this introductory chapter here. Although that's got sort of a, oh wait, okay, I see, it's only just this part here. So I, let's say I want to cite that. And it's got some authors, or actually, you know what, I don't want to cite that because that's just the introduction and the authors will probably be the same as the editors, just so. So for realism's sake, I'm going to want to cite this part right here. Say I'm using that. Okay, so I open up my Zotero, and I can take that book record here, I'm going to right click on the book record for the book as a whole, and I'm going to hit duplicate item. Now normally you don't want duplicates in your Zotero and you want to take measures to get rid of them every once in a while if they inadvertently appear because they can cause trouble when you're citing things later. But for now I'm going to temporarily create a duplicate. That way I won't have to do as much copying and pasting of fields. So the duplicate item, the new one, is going to be this highlighted item here that has appeared directly underneath the original book. Okay, So now, on this one, I'm going to change the item type right away from book to book section. And it's warning me that a couple of things are going to go away, and that's okay in a sense. But it nicely has retained my editors and it's giving me an abstract, which I'm probably going to delete out of here because it doesn't really apply. Um, I've got a book title, and that is the right book title. And it's got the series and the volume and all those good things. So, But now what I need to add is the title of the chapter and the author of the chapter. So that I have right here in my book record that I've pulled up. And Merlin, and this is a good way to do it. If, if it's not a book that we own, then maybe some other library catalog will have the table of contents online, or you can just type it if you have trouble finding a record. So here's copy. I'm going to copy that, and Command V in Mac to paste, and hit return. And now, of course, I have to have my chapter title author, and in this case, I have two authors. So here's what I have to do to do to add those. Um, now there, and one of them is the same guy. Oh, okay. So for chapter one, the, the editors and the authors are actually the same people. Or actually, ooh, I think it depends. You know what? No, it's not because the way that this is set up, I think those are actually referring to the authors of the introduction. So the, the authors that I need for this chapter are, is this other guy. All right. So what I'm going to do is add a plus over here, and I'm going to change this from editor to author, because this is the author for the chapter that I'm talking about. And uh, the question is, you know, whether this guy, I'm, I'm not, it looks like his name is in a language that's unfamiliar to me, and so it's, it may require a little bit of detective work on my part to figure out whether his last name, like his family name, is the last two words of this thing or just the last word. And so assuming that I have done my work and I've figured out that he goes just by Lopez, then I can hit tab over here. Oh yes, oh it lets me specify editors and translators too. It's giving me unsolicited information. Well, I'm gonna, I already know that, so I'm going to click out of there and, and say Gustavo Asioli. Put that in as the first name, and that will usually, it's that's kind of treating it the same way as the Silva editor above, and so that that'll probably be right. But in real life, I would probably want to check into it, see how he's listed, maybe in a in a catalog, and make sure that that's correct. So, so I've got my author, and I've got my editors, and all is well and good. The only thing that I need in here for sure is 
the pages. And in real life, if I'm, you know, if I have the book in hand and I actually want to cite it, then there's going to be pages. So I'm just going to make them up right now, but, you know, in real life, you would have it. And you want to make sure that you put it because it's going to be important when you're coming to cite the thing. So that's how that works. Okay, so that is how to make a, a chapter item out of a book item. And again, if I wanted to, if I were citing other chapters of the same book, I would go through the whole thing again, select the book, right click, duplicate item, and then, and then with a the new item, I'd be changing the item type to a book chapter and so forth.